who joined us. Tamara Robbins Griffith is here. Hi. 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 Oh, feels like you've been here forever. Um, we're going to get to a question now uh, in the audience for you, Tamara. So this is Lisa. Lisa, you've got a kitchen question. What would you like to ask her about? Hi, thanks for taking my question. We've recently renovated our kitchen and the designer that we were working with suggested that we have a corner there for our appliances, like a nook. And now we have guests over and sometimes they're questioning why we didn't extend the cabinets to that corner. And I just want some suggestions on maybe what to put in that corner. I've put a picture for now, but just to balance it out a bit. That's a good question. Okay, well, I wanna start by saying there is no right answer. It's really about what's right for you and your life. So, I mean, some people like to have their art out or some appliances on the counter and, and or possibly do open shelving as well. Mm -hmm. But I think that's a good question they should have sort of discussed with you in advance to find out what's right for you. And I think most people tend to want to put things away. I mean, I've done, I've done a lot of corner cabinets um, this is an example. We you actually have see. pictures. We have those pictures uh, for you available in the server. So yeah, they can, so they can we can see share these. And, and even this one, this was a corner that had a pipe in the corner. So it wasn't even an empty corner. It had like a little bump out. So we still were able to build some storage for cookbooks. But you could have a bigger empty corner cabinet with lots of space. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it doesn't mean that what you've done is wrong. And if you feel good about it, try not to be swayed by you know, all your neighbors or friends who are asking you. Because if you like the art out, yeah. then yeah. like, embrace yeah, there's it. There's no way a designer made a mistake. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Who are these people coming no, to your house and I, telling you that exactly, there's something wrong exactly, with the corner of your kitchen? Exactly, but I will say, you do want to advocate for yourself because often when you're working with someone new, you don't know if they're good or not yeah, good. You know, yeah. you hopefully you got references, hopefully you check references. Mm -hmm. But you do have to take some responsibility and advocate for yourself. And so one of the questions that would be really important is how much stuff do you like on the counter? Right. And if the answer is none, then that's a fail on the designer's part. But if the right. answer is like, I don't mind stuff, mm -hmm. then it was a decision that you made and you get to appreciate that pretty piece of art. For me, I don't mind the stuff mm -hmm. on the counter except for it's on two walls. I would shove it all onto the one wall that's drywall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and maybe not all three. I mean, yeah. you know, maybe the less... Nobody eats less toast anymore. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> the less right? Right. 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 If you want to eat a piece of bread, the people are like, oh, you're eating bread? You're eating bread? I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, it just leads to the question, though. I mean, who do you listen to? Because everyone's got an opinion these days. People yeah. are watching City Line and they think they're pros and everything, mm -hmm. which is cool. Which is great. Because we're giving you the information. But um, if your designer has said, this is what we suggest, mm -hmm. And you disagree. Yeah. Does that mean you should go get another designer to be doing your plays? Well, what do you I think? would think a designer would be very respectful and yes. say, oh, if you don't want things to be seen, I mean, we've got to hide them. Like, it's yeah. kind of a no-brainer. It's so a I discussion. It's a conversation. I don't know what happened in that conversation. A collaborative process that yeah. you do work with your designer and communicate together about needs to come up with something that everybody's happy with, that the designer feels good about yeah. and can stand yeah. behind, that also is what you want and what you like. If you keep disagreeing over and over with your designer, get then a new designer. Right. Yeah. But, but to have one disagreement is like... Yeah. Not a big deal, and the designer should be respectful. No, no, it's my the way client. to forget it. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I wonder if your friend, like maybe when your friend came over, there was all kinds of stuff in the corner too. Like maybe this is a nice, clean, edited version of yeah, what's maybe, happening there. Who maybe. knows, right? <laughs> well, that's what that's what I usually do before I take a picture for this show. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I take everything off. <laughs> 